Welcome to Cloud Genius. Ready to explore cloud tech with us? Welcome to Cloud Genius. Our new video training series is going to be a deep dive into Amazon EBS. It's made up of five parts. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of the other videos. Let's get started. Our Amazon EBS series is structured to enhance your understanding, step by step. We will first start with an introduction to Amazon EBS, laying the groundwork for what EBS is and its importance in cloud computing. Next, we will discuss how EBS operates, focusing on its features and exploring the various types of the EBS volumes available. Our third topic will be about a critical concept EBS snapshots, a vital tool for data protection and recovery. And finally, we will cap off our series with automating your EBS snapshots with Amazon Data Lifecycle Manager, where we will learn how to streamline and automate your EBS backups and snapshots, ensuring efficient and secure data management. Let's start by exploring what EBS is why it's a key component in cloud computing, and how it can benefit your data storage needs. Whether you are new to cloud storage or looking to enhance your knowledge, this introduction is your first step towards mastering Amazon EBS. Let's look at AWS's three main storage types, block, file, and object storage. First, block storage, like Amazon EBS, it's like a hard drive in the cloud. It's great for databases or applications that need fast and dedicated storage. Next, file storage, like Amazon EFS. It's like a digital filing cabinet. It could be used for sharing files across different computers and networks. This could be useful for team collaboration, for example. Lastly, object storage which includes services like Amazon S3. This could be like a big warehouse for your data. It's great for storing huge amount of pictures, videos, or any kind of data. And you can get to it from anywhere on the internet. In this course, we are focusing on block storage, diving into Amazon EBS. We'll explore how it works and why it is important and don't worry, we will cover file and object storage as well in future courses. So you will all get to learn about them too. Amazon EBS is one of the block storage services from AWS. It allows you to create block storage volumes to be attached to your EC2 compute instances. These volumes behave like raw unformatted block devices typically similar to the LUNs or to the storage volumes that we created over SAN arrays to be presented to our physical or virtual servers. So these volumes are to be mounted as storage devices on your EC2 instances. These attached and mounted volumes can be used as boot volumes or data volumes. These volumes store the data on it persistently across the instance power cycles and even independently from the lifecycle of the instance itself. We will revisit this point later. Before you can use these volumes, you have to format them from within your EC2 instance itself. Based on the operating system of the instance, you can choose one of the available file systems to format the volumes with and divide it into a series of data blocks that are of the same block size. With EBS, you can easily and dynamically change the configuration of the volumes, such as its size. This will be demonstrated in one of our next videos. Why customers choose to use Amazon EBS? What could be the reasons behind that? Well, there are many. But first, EBS can offer very high performance in terms of the number of input-output operations per second, or IOPS. With the ability to offer in some configuration as of today, as of the time of the recording of this video, 
some configuration can offer up to 256,000 IOPS and it can offer up to 4,000 megabyte per second of throughput with even single digit millisecond of latency. That's incredible. Also, in terms of the reliability metrics and the SLAs promised by e EBS, EBS can offer you a service availability and data durability up to 99.999%. Also, in addition to all of that, it's very easy to use, easy to configure, easy to reconfigure the volume characteristics such as its capacity, its performance guarantees, and being able even to switch volume types. Uh, EBS volume types is a very important topic and we will be discussing it in much more detail in the next video. And finally, an important reason to mention is the ability to enforce security and help you achieve compliance. You have the ability with EBS to encrypt all of your storage volume with default encryption or even custom managed keys. With that being said, we conclude the first video where we had a quick overview about Amazon EBS. Make sure to watch the next video where we will be discussing how does it work and we will shed the light over some of its important features. Thank you.